we oh, no. we tilted one side eighth an inch off, so now it doesn't latch. But oh. yeah, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> Am I working? You are. Okay, I have some weird sound issues. That's all right. I need to get on roll 20, don't I? Shoot. Well, probably. about the bird <laughs> oh the bird so um when when you got attacked by those the the decaying auras of those creatures in this room uh the the songbird would have eventually crumbled under that uh, damage fortunately yeah well, that's okay. It was pretty mean. <laughs> I was going to try to train it to protect uh, the orb. Oh, good grief. <laughs> but that probably wouldn't have worked. Forgetting I changed my mouse settings. And Firefox is frozen. And Firefox is still frozen. I like healed up and everything. We long rested, did we not? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm at full health and I'm almost at full hit dice. Keeping first watch. Uh, were you guys keeping watch? Yes, I was keeping first watch. You were, Pete? Okay. Uh, make a make a perception check, Pete. Every once in a while, I, I, I my sound drops out and then back in, so I might have you repeat something at some point. Not this time. Okay. Team. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Against the wall over here. Just kind of. Sure, sure, sure. Alright. Uh, you are going to hear um, in in the, the darkness of the room someone say in a scratchy, raspy voice, Oh, Withers, you failed. <laughs> I, I try to stand up as quietly as I can. Over here. 
do I see Withers' body? I think I would have set the lantern up. Uh, probably right beside me here. Okay, sure. Um, you're going to see a... what looks like an old, raggedy old uh, lady with uh, burning pinprick eyes, um, kind of waking up Withers' body and mask and uh, robed with her hands and gathering it up into a bundle. Uh, but she pauses when she sees you, Pete. Lady Butterfly? Okay. Uh, I, I, I stand there and... Uh, I, I have my hand on my sword, but I'm, I'm not pulling it out yet. Uh, I'm just sort of sta- standing there uh, awkwardly, like not quite sure what to do. Standing, huh? Um, okay. She um, she will look up, uh, peer, peer down at you, Pete. Um, and in her in her raspy voice, uh, she will say, "Would you like to uh, bargain something for Withers's poor old bones here?" For his bones. Are you saying I you want the bones, or I might want the bones? Oh, I, I, I would, I would like the bones. There's plenty of hatred and revenge in these bones that I would love to take advantage of. Dear, I don't think I want that. Um, give me a moment, if if, if you don't mind. Uh, fuck out! Fuck out! <laughs> Go. Uh, Rocco, okay. make make a uh, make a, make a perception check, Rocco. I hope I roll a one, because as far as I know, I'm asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, character sheet, load for me. This is not loading. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I, I can open your character sheet if you want. <laughs> And it closed. Oh, good. You want a quick, you want a quick perception? <sighs> good grief! What's wrong with my system here? All right, it's coming along now, sort of. Perception. There we go. I look at the skull and I say, "Do you think you could point to Rocco?" <laughs> look at those feet. Fuzzy oh. feet disgust me. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, Rocco. You you are awakened, uh, groggy eyed, mm-hmm. to uh, Pete. Uh, you know, trying to trying to get your attention here. And um, you see a uh, a very a very cruel and fell looking uh, uh, lady uh, standing over Withers's corpse, and, um, looking back and forth between you and Pete. Yeah. Do this, I? This nice lady here is. Okay. I'm asking about. Old Withers Bones. And said we might be able to barge her. <sighs> Why do she need them? This is my question. Oh, there's there's a lot of hatred and a lot of revenge in these bones, and that makes a very good guardian. So I would like to take these bones. I don't want you to. Anything. 
involving undeath is going to hamper our efforts here. Why are you even here? I scramble over onto my knees and feel around for my weapons. Oh yeah, I pick up my lantern and open the hood. Oh, Withers, Withers said that he was going to have a great victory here, um, but apparently that did not go down as he was uh, as he was expecting. So I'm just trying to uh, salvage what what I can from. from You're this trying to unfortunate hamper our efforts. Events. No. I can make it worth your while. No, you can't. The only wow. way you can make it worth our while is by not doing what you're trying to do. As you, I'm sure you can imagine. Um, it will take a lot to offer us something worth more than... You know, I mean, we're on a mission to subvert exactly this sort of thing, if you, if you don't mind my saying. And uh, <laughs> imagine you've got much to offer us that's going to be worth that. I think we might. Have, I know. I, yeah. It. I, it seems crazy to give her the bones. I imagine we don't want to do that. But I like. I like that we're. We're just saying like, no. Nah, I don't think there's anything you got that can do that. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe she'll. Maybe she'll bring. How us about? Something. How about? How about this offer? Down the corridor, to the to the west of here, there is a mirror, and in that mirror there is several people who are quite. Um, upset about being trapped in that mirror. So if you find a way to release them, they may assist you. I think if we find a way to defeat your master, we will have all the time in the world to figure out how to release them after the fact. I will glare at her. You defeat us? Defeat our last <laughs> Oh, if you're so confident that we're not going to defeat you, why would you offer us a bargain in the first place? Why don't you just kill us? Waco, you don't ask that. <laughs> right, right, right. How do you know my name? <laughs> I don't think that was from the DM. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, the uh, you you will see that the features of this old withered crone twist into hatred, and she will vanish. She will uh, turn misty and disappear from your sight. Is there any way I can take those bones and like? I think we should put them in the bucket. Maybe Ooh. she'll come back with more to offer. I like it. Be able to drive up the price, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Hear that? It's going to take more than information. <laughs> yeah, I just shoved that into the... You know, really in this direction. <sighs> okay. Uh, what do you guys do from here? The bones go into the bucket? Yeah. Do we need more more time to rest? Yeah. Um, I, was woken early. I guess I haven't rested. That was, uh, right. Yeah, Pete, you need to rest. Waco, you're up as the, uh, as the person on watch. Mm -hmm. Um, so, okay. Oh, right, um, did you just add, I guess we got the amulet, because you added a handout for it. Yes. Um, so, Rocco, as you are sitting there on your watch, um, you can spend time investigating the, uh, the amulet, and you discover uh, it has the properties uh, which are on that handout. And meanwhile, on your watch, Rocco, can you... Yeah, I was, I was watching from over here. I don't know if we're all watching. Yeah. 
When, when you get set up, Wapo, can you I make a even... perception check to keep watch on your yes. watch? Crazy in roll oh. 20 specifically. Oh. Sound got a little bit better. It was pretty bad a few minutes ago. Uh. I think it's gotten slightly better. Yeah, roll 20 is just not working today. Tell you what your, what your, I mean, you know your modifiers, right? Like, I guess, mm -hmm. like if. You just roll a d20. And... Yeah, uh, perception, you said? Sorry, it finally. Yes. Tried to catch up, I guess. Uh, okay. Um, you. You notice nothing. Um, nothing. Strange or abnormal on on your watch, Rocco. Mm -hmm. Did we put the bones uh, okay. in the bucket, by the way? What's that? Did we put those bones in the bucket or not? Y yes, I, I think you guys did. Okay. As soon um, as you found out she was after them in the bucket, they did. I think I think I think I'm gonna take a bit of rope and. Um, do I have any cloth? Mm. <sighs> While I'm not using my bedroll, I'll, uh... Sorry, that's wrap, just a mistake one. Uh, the bedroll with rope over top of the bucket to keep, make... Now, the bedroll's too big for that. I'll wait until we've got some extra cloth. I was thinking of making just a lid on the bucket so nobody can, like, reach in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a good idea. It is. That's an interesting one. It looks cool. <laughs> Ooh. Been useful against withers? Mm-hmm. I did not cast it, I'm just clicking around and... Mistaking Mike, me. Mike's gone out again. Oh. <clears throat> I'm not clicking it, I'm just... It. Yeah. You're... You sound like... It doesn't sound like you're eating, it sounds like somebody's eating you. Like you're in somebody's mouth and they're chewing. Hmm. I'm gonna try one thing. That would be to stop streaming and just record the stupid thing. <laughs> Maybe it's my connection. That kind of sound like a Star Wars droid. Oh, that's not good at all. How's it now? Any better? Not worse. Oh, oh, whoa, it just got loud for a second, but I think it was... Oh, good grief. Oh, it's, it's okay right now. All right. Yeah, it's okay right now, then. All right. Even when it's bad, like at least I can hear you. Mm -hmm. And 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 if, if if you're speaking loudly and clearly, I can probably make out what you're saying, even when it's bad. Right. Right now it's good. Okay. <laughs> the the components for this spell are insane. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not using this spell. I'm just. I just accidentally clicked it. Oh. Okay. But did we get? Did we get rubies? Uh, mm, I don't know. If we got that. Might have been a different game <laughs> that I got rubies in recently. Sorry. I thought we might have. I don't have any in my inventory. 
Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't think you have ruby and incense and so forth that's worth a thousand gold at least. You might have some rubies, but I don't think you have that much rubies. It's a lot of rubies. Yeah. Um, you very good rubies. In terms of effects, though, I think this is pretty similar to like um, Magic Circle as far as what it's actually. Oh, but, no, but, this this actually this also prevents travel. Yeah, I think Magic Circle can, can prevent teleportation. Oh, but Magic that is Circle an is yeah, right, small right. radius where forty thousand square feet. Hmm. <laughs> That would be the, basically the entire thing, right? I mean, no doubt it would be this entire room, plus a few others. 40,000 square... That might, that might be like a whole level. I mean... Well... I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna count all the squares, but... <laughs> 40,000... Oh, 40,000 square feet. It's 5 by 5, 25. Yeah. It's a lot of area, at least. Mm -hmm. Is that 8,000 squares? Uh, me... 40,000 divided by 5. Mm -hmm. Square root of 40,000. 8,000 divided by 5 would be the number, the number of squares in 40,000. 200 by 200 feet. square feet divided by 5, which is 40 by 40 squares. Wow. A, a square is five feet, square, five square feet. Mm -hmm. Right, so you can protect four, four tiles for every 100 square feet. So there's 400 100 square feet. Four tiles for 100 square feet? That doesn't sound right. Well, a five by five square floor tile is 25 square feet. Oh, four, four oh. Is square feet. yeah, I keep coming up with 40 either oh, way. Of course. I thought, it was a, I thought it was five square feet. I thought a square was five square feet. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay. Oh, but you're saying five, five by five squares. A tile is five feet by five feet. <laughs> It'd be five square feet, right? Yeah. This is this is insane. We don't need to be having this conversation. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, I, I agree. Uh, it, it's a lot of area. What's what to say a level? <laughs> it's so easy to just fall into the abyss of, 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 of math. math and logic and yeah. Anyway. Okay, uh, Pete, the, uh, uh, Walker, the rest of your watch goes uneventfully. You guys wake up, refresh. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you guys do from here? Oh, well, we haven't explored north. And, and the two doors are open, right? Uh, they are still closed. I thought, I thought there was like this thing where like I put the crown down and they didn't open and then you changed your mind and they opened. Mm, I don't uh, remember it right. actually reopening. Okay. Something happened when I put the crown back in. When you put the crown back, I was tempted to have the doors open, but then I changed my mind again. Okay, okay. And they're still closed. That's that's fine. That's fine. All right. Mm, and they don't have the the the, the, stat, the little the reliefs or just not reliefs. They were just like paintings or something. They have hands on this side. Uh, there is a painting on the inside of these slabs. Um, a male humanoid wearing a hooded cloak, once again with stars where his face should be. The figure holds up his right arm, which is severed neatly at the elbow. Yeah. He's wearing a crown. 
Oh, uh, so... Wait, is it wearing a crown of, like, stars? Uh, no, it's not wearing a crown. It's, oh, okay. It has a mask on its face that has stars on it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why the stars are so prominent in this room. Anyway. Well, it might have something to do with that other room that we were in trying to talk to the tree and... But, Rocco, you have attuned the amulet by this point of your your long rest. So, that is also an option. That thing's cool. Did you read that? No, I did not. Um, no. It, it's really good, cool, and it explains a lot so about... So six uh, charges and it regains 1d6 per day. While wearing it, you can expend one of its charges to transport yourself or anything you and anything or carrying to a location of hundred. Oh wow! I don't have to be able to see the space. You just have to know it. Mhm. Mm I like it. Okay. Wherever the hell the tomb of the nine gods is, we can teleport there. Well, I think, I think that's what this is. Oh, okay. Is there? I guess there's normally. Restrictions on teleportation. We just haven't tried it. Right. <laughs> we could try it if you want. Uh, I think uh, we've got this now. We don't need to. <laughs> yeah. that out. All right. So, oh yeah, can you I... can bring an additional creature. So you uh, can you can you double up on that? Can you bring two additional creatures for two additional charges? <laughs> yes. All right. So you can bring all of them. All of us can teleport. So that means two teleportations per day maximum. Or, yeah, maximum. We could teleport out of this door to the left, but not the door to the north because we haven't been on the other side. Hmm. That is my interpretation. Yep. I did walk past it while it was open, right? No, I didn't. It was still closed. It was just like... Right. That would, be, that would be shady anyway. If I... You you did, and the door was open, but Rocco didn't go that way. Rocco went down south and around the bend there. Yes. Go to the, the teleporter. Well, I, as weird as it sounds, the, 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 the folks here have been pretty honest. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I'm not yeah. actually too worried about checking out that mirror. Uh, I am. What if we get trapped inside it with everybody? Again? What if we get trapped inside of the mirror with everybody else? Uh, muttering, muttering, sorry. I couldn't hear any of that. It's, it's the mic. What if we get trapped inside the mirror with everybody else? Oh, is this the mic that's... That's, that's much better. Oh, wow. Uh, that, that, that's definitely possible. Something to, something to consider. Yeah, 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 good point. point. That's the danger. It's only one of us should go near it, huh? Mm hmm We tie a rope. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can pull somebody out of the mirror. Yeah. But like... Voice and video. I just realized what the problem is. Is this any better? Yes, it is. It is better. Yeah, I, yes. was I was using my earbud mic, which uh, is okay. terrible. I get it now. <laughs> yeah, I could hear me fine. I don't know what was wrong with... Never mind. Right. Yeah, 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 I, I guess we can check it. And, and we could teleport through this door if we think we need to. Um, I do have a pickaxe. So mm -hmm. that's another option. Oh, so like yeah. Here. Yep. Okay, should I try picking at it? If that is an option, yeah. Which door should I pick first? This one or, or the big one? Uh, or the one to the north? They're both the same size. Uh, given that we would probably make it into whatever this junction is faster if we went with the north one. I would be tempted to try that one, but okay. we know, but we know we have an escape route if we do the west one. Oh, you know what? You're right. We should probably 
the air escape path. That's a good idea. Uh, I'll take out my pickaxe from the from the bucket. Mm -hmm. uh, what else is there? Um, yeah, maybe I'll try to. Actually, we could work together here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, why don't you help me? We'll try to try to um. Get the seams of the door first with these pythons. Yeah. And and the hammer that I have. I have I have a wooden mallet and I have a bunch of pythons for really climbing and stuff. You could try hammering at various points in the door to try to like get it a little loose or something, and and then just like pick it. I don't know. What? Well, maybe we'll have to experiment with it. But I'm thinking there might be a, a way to. The the door is a very very tight fit. There doesn't even seem to be room for smoke or air to pass through these these doors slabs. Hmm. Well, I just. Be silent for a second. Yep. Well, I mean, I just hammered three shims into a real door at my sister's house. <laughs> so I'm kind of in the mood for forcing a door open. Or forcing a door to become unsealed. Uh, I'm back and also... <laughs> I'm back and also you sound uh, like a robot again. Oh, good grief. Well, I opened my character sheet again, which might be the problem. <laughs> So I'm sorry, uh, uh, Sean. I did not hear what you were saying about the door because I have my mom was trying to get something from under the bed and I was making a big mess of it, so I had to go. Help. That's, that's okay. Um, the door is is very tightly constructed to the the doorway here. There's not even room for like smoke or air to pass through here, so it's not. We, I don't think it's going to be possible to do uh, pythons in the door. Okay, so maybe just like brute force with the pickaxe. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot with the pickaxe. See, see if it if it makes any. You know, I, I don't know if this is a thing where like, do you want me to make attack rolls to try to do damage to it, or should I? Is this like a strength check, like knocking down a, a normal door? Because a, a normal door, I, I guess it's harder to, to do damage to it because it's either, either open or it's closed. But this one might be more of a all. Yeah, make a uh, make an attack against the door with the pickaxe. All right. Am I proficient with pickaxe? Um, you're proficient with martial tools. You're proficient okay. with. Martial weapons. I don't martial know. weapons. Um, <laughs> no, I don't think you're proficient with the pickaxe. I'll just I'll just roll strength. Okay. Strength. Where's... Uh, Seventeen. Pretty good. All right. Um, your your pickaxe kind of pings off the the surface of the door, but uh, does not. Does not mind. This is a tough door. Oh, how do we get out of here? I guess we should teleport. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I'm inclined to agree. I'm gonna give it another another hit. Uh, oh, can I aid you on that or? Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, guidance doesn't work on attack rolls. Mm. Yeah, I don't And this is an ability check, though. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm just rolling plus strength, so... Sure, yeah, 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 let's... Let's, uh, let's pray on it for a second. That would be guidance? Yeah. Take a deep breath. And reel back as much as I can with this wall here. It's kind of making it difficult. 
give another hit. Fifteen plus four. Oh, I, I clicked it twice. Ignore the second one, I guess. <laughs> it, it didn't. It do. It lagged on the, the first time I clicked it, so I thought I didn't press it. Uh -huh. Mouse has been known to. Uh, that's one higher than before. But... <laughs> oh man. And see that. Yeah, that <laughs> that that, that also is going to just kind of ping off the surface and uh, and not do damage to that door. Yeah. Just pick away, fight the way. Uh, I probably can't even get a crowbar into that slot between the door. It's like flush. Yep. All right. I mean, we can right. we can teleport. We have, we have Mason's tools, don't we? I think we do. Yeah. Mason's tools might be. I'll eat. the pickaxe didn't work. Yeah, I mean the pickaxe is sort of a uh, quarrying tool anyway. Um, I think this is just a really tough door, guys. <laughs> Did we get these tools actually? Because I'm not seeing them in the bucket. I'll uh, I'll put it in the bucket. Withers. I have a whetstone. <laughs> It's sort of close. It's tools, jewelers, tools. Oh, I remember that. I thought I remember that. Well, I have a mace. Okay. Yeah, it, there were mace and tools at the, at, the, at, the, at the forge, but yep. you never added them to the... Uh, that bucket. is, yeah, I seem to remember that now, too. Should should we add it to the bucket, or did we just, should we assume that we just didn't take it? I would probably be inclined to think we didn't buy one, buy a set. Oh, yeah, I mean, there was one at the, at the, the, the oh, board, oh, the, oh, oh. I, um, I meant to add all of, I meant to add all of the, um, all of the tools that were there. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey Sean, can I add the the mason's tools to the bucket? Because I meant to loot all of the, the, the supplies, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's rapidly sure. I put Withers's bones and etc. in the bucket too. Um. I, I do have one more thing we could try with this, this door, with the mason. Okay. Make some kind of check together to assess the door, figure out if there is anything to be done structurally, mechanically, to do with masonry, you know, if we apply the, the mason's tools mm -hmm. effectively. I'm, I'm sure neither of us are proficient, so it would be just like a straight intelligence or wisdom roll or something like that. Okay. Yeah. But, um, but we have the tools. We may not have the expertise. Okay, somebody can make a just a straight wisdom check then to uh, figure out if there's any kind of a step aside. seam or mechanism or... I can work on that. One sec. That's a, that's a job for... Yep. That's not a job for a Pete. Nope. Let me let me go ahead and take care of that. Bink. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay. Um, all right, Rocco. You examine the door. You climb up onto Pete's shoulders. You feel around. Um, you tap. Certain certain stones in the wall. I look through um, the bucket of tools and figure out the, kind of. <laughs> in the end, I uh, yeah, you uh, you're not able to discover any mechanism to to trigger this door to open or any sort of uh, weaknesses in the wall. Mm -hmm. 
like I pick up one of the tools and I'm like, man, I would heard of chisels, but I've never seen one with like three prongs instead of just a flat blade. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll put those tools away, I guess. Okay. okay. Yeah. Should we gather up and try and teleport? Mm-hmm. All right. Come, Eeyore. Yeah, Eeyore can come with us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he has to. I mean. <laughs> yeah, he must. Why would the DM? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's going to be that skull that comes with. I'm sure. That's who must come with, even if we don't want him to. Whoa, how did I do that? Hey, I can right click and... I run around the block really fast. You do what? <laughs> I, I just ran around the maze really fast. Okay, I didn't see that. I, I didn't either. Oh. Okay. Uh, I didn't know okay. you could right click. That's cool. Well, I see you do it now. Oh, you're you're running. You're running. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Oh man. Oh oh, it's so fast. Oh. I love it. That's so cool. I I didn't realize they had changed it from space bar to right click. That's all. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a while before it happens. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rocco. You you're using the amulet to teleport. Yep. We're going to okay. just pop over to this side. I assume. Okay. Alright, make a constitution saving throw. No. Ah. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. You get stuck in the wall and suffocate to death. I understand. All of us are just rocking. Wow. Ooh. Okay, great. You <laughs> grip that talisman, you reach out to uh, Eeyore and Pete, and you swish through through the space and arrive on the other side of the door. Oh. Everybody's intact. Everybody's whole and together. Mm -hmm. And okay, good job. And the amulet oh, loses three a, charges. Do you want to add like a resource counter on your sheet? Uh, yeah. I don't um, know how. I don't know how to speaking of, shoehorn one in. <laughs> in addition to of, the other two. Speaking of resource counters. Uh, oh, I found. I can't it. remember if we. I can't remember if we spent. If we like. Remembered to reduce rations on our sheets. But, yeah, uh, I never remember to reduce rations. I I, I think I, I reduced. I did bring it down to seven, based on how many nights we spent, but uh, I don't remember if I... I think I didn't consider the ration from last night, so I think I'll bring it down. Another. Yeah, this, this is the start of day four, so I think you guys are down three or four rations at this point, so... Looks pretty cool. Let's take what's on, uh, let's, what's on Eeyore, since we've got Eeyore. Carrying 16 rations, so I'm going to take four off of here. Doing the math right now. <laughs> Cool, I like this add resource thingy. I did yeah. counter. I didn't realize that could be increased gradually. Cool. Uh, and also, I was changing it to four days of ration. Well, because it, it's three a day, right? If we're feeding the uh, ore. Because there's no gas yes. here. Well, I'll actually reduce it down to 11. 
I'm 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 assuming you guys have um, equivalent rations for uh, for the donkey as well as yourselves. Mm -hmm. Well. Uh, okay, so should I, I mean, because there's, there's the rations that are being carried by Eeyore. Should I reduce reduce it by one for what Eeyore ate today? And, and some of those are, are for Eeyore him, himself. Okay. Yep. Alright. So, yeah, so, so it'll be three spent per day. From Eeyore. Because I'm carrying around seven on my person right now. I have a full ten on my person. Alright. That I just took. I took a uh, four. Right. Your. Or has got eleven rations left. This is enough for all of us for three day for four days minus one ration. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, we've also got what we've got on our persons. Uh, are you sure you have seven rations, or do you have six? Because cause I think that we spent seven, but then another one last night. Um, yeah, probably forgot. Oh, sorry, not spent seven. I think we spent three, and then yeah. fourth last night. There's a very good chance I forgot to subtract one off. Hey, you guys have escaped the maze of death. Uh, you guys are in the corridor you came down last time, mm -hmm. and all of the um, cobwebs up to the junction have been broken, but there's still some cobwebs on the, the western uh, junction. Yes. Past where you guys turned it. Yep. And there's a, a faint glow coming from the room to the far west. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you guys want to do? I'm Early up for checking that room out. Down the hallway. Yeah. Uh, who's gonna Who's gonna go check out the mirror? Probably shouldn't go there. No, no, yeah, I was thinking of if that's the mirror, then I was totally up for checking it out. Flip a coin. Find out who the lucky person is. <laughs> I can take more damage, but you're better against weird stuff. Yeah. But 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 Pete would never suggest it. Like that, that's, that's entirely out of character. Yeah. You could flip a coin. <laughs> well. I, I suppose first we should figure out what's up with these webs. Ah, uh, the the cobwebs. Or maybe they're just cobwebs. I guess it could. Maybe the cob. Maybe it's as simple as that. The cobwebs were broken in this direction because people have walked recently. Yeah, yeah. W uh, Withers and the donkey went east okay. from here to set up the. I thought it. Clever trap. Of mm -hmm. shutting you guys in that room. I'm paranoid at this point, so I assume that the right. cobwebs are right. some kind of magic. <laughs> All right, who, who, who's going first? I think I, I, I'll tiptoe down okay. and take a look at it. Uh, Go. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let me get let me get a rope on you. I, I run. Oh. And you and you one side of rope. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Pipe okay. Me in, get in here, and then I also hold on to it. Uh, Rocco, as you approach the mirror, um, it the, the mirror is hanging on the far wall. There, it's gl the gems around the edge are glowing mm -hmm. faintly with a with a magical light. Mm -hmm. uh, make a make a charisma saving throw. Ah, oh, fuck! Already. Oh no, I'm better at that. I didn't think this could happen. Oh, and maybe I'm not, because you're actually proficient. I cast a gleaming smile at the mirror and only see my own reflection. Oh no, I thought you were proficient in charisma saving throws. <laughs> okay, Rocco. Um, you find yourself... I am. Wait, I am. No, it, should be, it should be plus five. <sighs> no. 
That's okay. That's that's okay. Oh uh, well, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, Rocco, you catch the barest hint of your reflection in this mirror, mm -hmm. and then you will find yourself in a a plane of fog in all directions that limits your sight. Um, except in the direction right in front of you, where there is a square uh, pane of glass floating in the in the foggy um, surroundings that you find yourself. Mm -hmm. And you can see off in the distance uh, Pete uh, peering in, peering towards, towards hey, where head. you are at the moment. Hmm. Pete, you will ropes? feel the the rope suddenly go slack. I look up. It's, Rocco's not there. Rocco is gone. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, 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 oh no! But I can see him. Uh, I know where. I know where I am. I'm right here. Oh no! And you're I, way I, over I, there. Rocco. Rocco! Hello? He's down the hallway. He's not there. Do I hear him? Uh, no? Wait, come back. No, 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 no. Don't wander down. <laughs> I take a step forward, but I don't see him there. I, I take a step back. I'm not sure what to do. Because I, I, I'm pretty sure he disappeared into that mirror. Oh, but I'm right here, and I'll try to knock on that window. Okay, Pete, you can hear a faint knocking. <laughs> Rocco? I'm in here. I knock again. Um. Uh, it looked like that got his attention. Can you hear me? Can uh, I? Rocco, you can, Rocco, you can hear very faintly someone asking, Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I yell louder. Okay. Uh, Pete, you can hear very faintly what Rocco just said. <laughs> step forward, I'm not looking at the mirror. I think this steps forward. I'm not looking at the mirror. Uh, oh dear, I... Are you alright? Are you in the mirror? P, are you... Are you deliberately not looking into the mirror? I am deliberately not looking into the mirror. Okay. Alright. You touch it or look at it. I looked at my reflection. I'll yell a little louder. I don't like that. Oh dear. Um. Do I have a beard? <laughs> what? Do I have a beard? Am I in a. Never mind. Making Star Trek references. <laughs> Am I evil? <clears throat> I come into the room. I'm not don't look looking. at it. I'm not looking. Uh, I, 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 I try to look. I stand here and I look at the walls. Do I have any idea that I could possibly break through the window? Um. That was totally him. Uh, despite <laughs> the, the sound of your knocking, getting Pete's attention and your, your being able to communicate, mm -hmm. um, it seems to be a very, very sturdy, uh, <laughs> magical pane of glass in front of you, Pete. Uh, wow. yep. So, um, it doesn't seem like you would be able to break it. Wait, I remember something. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Hello? Who, who had the scratching of the writing? Rocco was the one taking the scratchings, right? Let me hear your beautiful voice again. Yes. Have your, can you read the... Uh, away. What did it say on this level? Something about the mirror, right? Oh, I'm on the fourth level, right? The mirror holds twelve. I will... Holds the mirror 12. holds twelve! Oh, one finger, then I two fingers. Hold one. Is there anyone else in there? Uh, what happens if I look away? <laughs> kind of flounder through the fog and reach for anything. 
Uh, Rocco, uh, if you glance around, you can see no one except yourself. It is an empty expanse of gray fog. There's no one else here. There's no one else here. I'll turn around and yell, hello? Anybody in here? It is a desolate silence. No, there's no one else in here. I yell. What's... I might... Wait. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What do you see on the outside of the mirror? Like the, the frame. Don't look into the mirror. Don't look at your reflection. Just look at the frame. Oh, that sounds a little bit dangerous. All right. <laughs> Here, here, give me, give me a, a, a moment. I'm gonna um, walk back over here. Well, no, I'm not gonna walk over here. I'm gonna turn away. I'm, now I'm gonna take my bedroll out and I'm gonna bed in whatever. Do we have and, a bucket uh, of paint? <laughs> spread it out. And with my eyes closed, I'm holding it up in the air like my arms spread out with with, with a, you know, like when you're trying to fold a blanket and you hold it. I just mm -hmm. it wide. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to kind of block the view of the mirror? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to do that, and, and I'm going to walk towards the mirror so I can feel the corners, or at least I can feel the wall, and then like bring my hands together so I can feel the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and while I'm doing that, I'm, I'm bunching up the, 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 the bedroll so that I don't have a bunch of slack in the middle. And I'm going to try to get to the point where I'm covering the actual mirror with the bedroll, and I can maybe get a peek. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that that definitely uh, definitely uh, is gonna let you uh, uh, see the the edges of of the frame without looking at the the mirror. What do um, I see? Do it, does he hold up a sheet and cover the window, and now I, all I can see is fog and a black square? Yes. Okay. Hey, no, wait. Can he still hear me? I'll knock on the window again. Don't pull it away, but can you hear me? Uh, Pete can still muffled uh, hear you through the, through the blanket and the pane of glass. Mm -hmm. I can hear you. I'm, I'm looking at the frame. Okay. Uh, so at at the 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 magical gem around the edge of this are still glowing uh, faintly, Pete. But one of them in particular, on um, near the middle of the bottom of the frame, um, is lit up um, a little bit brighter than the, than the other ones, and it has a a, a number like a two pepper. in it. Oh, uh, say say all that again. Sorry. Uh, magical gems lit up faintly around the around the, the frame of this mirror. Uh, near the bottom of the middle, near, wait, the the bottom edge of the frame near the middle, there is one particular gem that's lit up a little bit brighter than the other ones, and there is a two, a like a ma magical uh, symbol of a two in in that gem. Ooh. I I think I might need to go get some help. I'm get should I ask the darkness? We well, haven't spoken to the darkness in a while. I see I see gems all around the frame. I say I I tell Rocco what I see. Mm -hmm. Are you sure there's no one else in there? Is there twelve gems on this thing? Is there what? Twelve gems on that. Um. Yeah, yes. 12, yes. Twelve gems. That and would. Number two is is lit up. Yeah. Wait, wait. I'm gonna look at the paper again. The mirror holds twelve. It doesn't say the mirror is currently holding all twelve. Right. There's I no one else probably... in here. I think if I exit that. One will stop glowing. Hmm. Ask the darkness. Not help, but it might. My goodness, you're reaching out for help. <laughs> this is where. Yeah, I'm asking Rocco if I should. Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, be careful oh, of what it reason. says. Oh, no. <laughs> I will, I will. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I run back 
Oh no, I can't because the door's closed. Oh no. Okay, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll, 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 I'll step back a few paces, and and then yes, I will reach out with my mind to, to the darkness. Uh, okay. Um, the the snide, cunning voice of the darkness will, uh, will say hello, warrior. It's been a long time since anyone reached out for me. What what do you need? Hey, hello. Well, I, you know, we're we're in. I don't know if you can see <laughs> where we are. I look around. Not in this direction. Can you see him here? Just hear me. What's up? Uh, I asked, can can the darkness see me or just hear me? Uh, no, I can't. But what? Uh, can you describe what you're seeing? I'm seeing a mirror. Or rather, I'm not seeing a mirror, but I know that there's one nearby. You know about this mirror that I'm talking about? Oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Mister Withers knew every secret of that mirror. Oh, do I have his book? I'm gonna... Every secret of that mirror. You happen to know any secrets? Um... I just know that Withers has has thought of the words Komora and Blackfire to himself uh, whenever he thought of that mirror. You've been terribly helpful. Is there anything you'd like me to do for you? You know, in within reason. I, I've got a mission to keep. I'm sure you know that. Ah, well, um, interesting. And while, uh, well, I'll, I'll leave you to think of that for a moment. Rocco, mm -hmm. I've got some information. I'm not sure I want to act on it yet, mm -hmm. but. I think it might be wise. I can turn invisible, right? Mm -hmm. I could go back to Wither's office. If there's anything about the mirror. I, the darkness says says that Wither's has information. But I'm afraid of magic words. Uh huh. You know they can be dangerous. I'd like to learn a little bit more. Would you be? If I left you here for a moment, would you be? Terribly upset. I can't see any way no. out. I... Oh no! <laughs> A sketch of a mirror. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you guys found uh, that at the very back of Withers' uh, spellbook. So yes, this I was like the thought, last page. Yes, and I thought we. It didn't seem to be we... related to spells. So. Correct. Did you say, what did you say, Rocco? Sorry. No, I. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, you're you're very quiet now. Sorry, you're a robot. <sighs> my headphones on real tight. So it's it's fine. It's fine. There's nothing I can really do to repair it either. Uh, did something break? No, no. It's just oh, yeah. I've changed so, nothing and. Have you been able to hear Daniel fine? Um, it's been a little quiet recently, but um, earlier it was fairly loud. Uh, every once in a while, I'm hearing his audio go real, real quiet. Hmm. Real, like, um, I, should I try the words, or should I make a run to the office? If I, if I can be invisible and I'm alone, I, I don't know if it's too dangerous. No, I like the idea of I don't I don't want you to take the chance unless you're very confident of yourself. Don't find anything, I'll come back and I'll say the words. Okay. Right. I'll um, be right back. I kind of wanted to 
try something. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I, I take a step back. Two steps back. One minute. I do have sending prepared, I will say through the mirror. Right. It is a spell. <laughs> I think I'll be able to talk to you if you get lost. Um, yeah. It's a big spell, so... Yeah, it is. I take a terribly long time, and you get worried, or if anything... I think, yeah, if, I, if you take too much time, I'll contact you. Right. Um, I better tie... Your. If there was, we were we were looking in this direction from way over here, and there wasn't a risk, right? Yes. We, we Eor wouldn't be able to if he was tied over here. He wouldn't be able to look this uh, way. No, no. I tie Eor up uh, a few squares in this direction, just so that the monster doesn't peek him from the hall. I'm gonna tie. I'm gonna tie him. I'm gonna tighten him up over here. Not too okay. tight, but like tight, tight enough that he's not gonna wander out of it. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Um. All right. I I give a wave in this direction, mm -hmm. and then I turn invisible. All right. And you're going back up to Withers's office. All right. Make a. If I can take back. If I can take um. Uh, back passages, like I, I might come come to, to the uh, and go through that secret door that we yep. found before. Uh, yeah. Um. So make a. Are you, are you gonna try to be stealthy as you as you move around? I hope so. I've got my my small sword drawn the whole time. Make a uh, make a make a stealth check or a dexterity check if you don't have stealth. Have or I don't have stealth, but I have I have the plus two from being a advantage because I'm I'm invisible. Yeah, you're invisible. Sure. Wow, ten with advantage. So. All right. You, uh, you, you stub your toe, um, going up the secret stairs, but, um, strangely enough, there's, there doesn't seem to be anyone that you run into. Um, you manage to get back into Withers' office. Um, it looks like some things have been, uh, moved around a little bit in, in your absence. Um, all the drawers have been pulled open, uh, papers scattered about more than you remember. Um, you're, going, you're going to find out that uh, Withers um, highly recommended uh, someone named uh, Prisoner Number 7, who um, he... Uh, has has notes that he took out that prisoner occasionally from the mirror to assist with uh, with arcane studies that he was uh, doing and performing as his uh, in his role as the caretaker of of this dungeon. Um, other than that, you find um, you find out the fact that. Uh, Komora is the command word to turn the actual trapping mechanism of the mirror on or off. And um, the same word to uh, talk about. Uh, yes, yes. And then Blackfire, um, you can't find any specific notes on what Blackfire does. Um, but you do know that Komora turns the trapping part of the mirror on or off. One place that we may not have looked 
for Withers is off. And maybe we did overturn everything that was in there. But in his desk, is there like any locked compartments or anything? I'll show you. It's going to be awesome. Um, with your, with your skill and your um, knowledge of drawers and woodworking, um, you can't determine if there's any secret compartments or anything. It seems like you've discovered everything. Uh, with the, with that information I've gotten, uh, I will uh, turn to uh, uh, where I am right now on the, on the on the map. I was a little worried about the noise I made, so I'm actually going to take the regular paths back down rather than the back the back paths. Okay. The the, uh, the the eyes and the fungus on the third level peer at you as you go by. Um, I'm invisible. Oh yeah, you're invisible. <laughs> that, 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 that would have been cool, but yeah, yeah, I'm invisible. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Once once again, it seems to be kind of bereft of of light, as far as you can tell. Um, you make it down without without incident. I guess I guess Withers was doing some work. We're noticing his absence, or or else they just didn't think that I was going to be up there. Ew! What happened here? So I'm back safely. I'm back here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Waco, you can see Pete approaching again. It looks from, like something like from the Don't look at the mirror. Right. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Okay. Um. I forgot. I actually forgot. Let me open that back up again. Oh no, uh, Kamora. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, all of the gems around the mirror will go dark, except for the, the, the gem with the two in it. It will still be faintly illuminated. Open my eyes and I look directly at the mirror. Okay, oh, you can see Rocco there oh, peering the out at you. It's okay. I'm looking at it. I'll put it, I'm gonna put it oh, uh, I found out what that word was. What is it? Oh shit! I look away from the mirror because I accidentally said it. <laughs> <laughs> the gems light up again. Actually, <laughs> make it, I would say make an intelligence check to see if you can look away in time. What? I didn't hear any of that. Did you get it? What's that? Oh, I, I said you should probably roll intelligence to see if you did look away fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. I'll, I'll, I'll say, uh, I'll say, as I was saying, Kimura. <laughs> you say it again. Keyword to turn the trapping mechanism on and off. And it turns off and I appear again? Or, <laughs> I mean. I guess that. Right, once I say it again, it's the mirror. Uh, trap deactivate. Mm hmm. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm looking at it again now. Other word, I'm not going to say it, mm -hmm. but I don't know what it does. It sounds a bit extreme, so I'll see if there's another way to get you out. Ooh. Is there any difference now? Can you step out? I, I can see you now. I don't know. Can I? And I bang on the window. What happens? I bang on it really hard with my fist. Daniel, you're, uh, you're really quiet again. Oh, good grief. Weird. I promise I'm not... Could you try not... on your phone? I Is could. I could. Yeah, let me... Let me give it a shot. One sec. Is it there? Any better? One sec. Is it any better? Oh, sorry. Is it any better? Hello? I don't understand. 
understand what Eeyore is doing. <laughs> Test? Am I here? I'm here, you're here. Okay. Yeah. All right. What happens if I bang on the glass? Um, uh, Pete will hear the, the bang, bang, bang of your, your fist against the glass, but it won't break. Okay. Hold your hand out. Hold my hand out? Just look at pure what you were doing, but, but keep your hand up. Uh, I'll touch the glass where he's touching it. Okay. Um, uh, you you can see that the you know the, the thin pane of glass uh, uh, between you guys, but uh, no, you you can't touch each other. Yeah, no, I I mean you it, I I'm left in darkness and fog when you switch away, but I'll be okay. Like, you know, a lantern or can you cast light in there? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I can I can do light. Okay. Well, I'm going to switch over now. Mhm. Mm and I, I I switch to number 7. <laughs> Okay, the, um, the, the, the elf in the mirror will narrow its eyes at you and say, you're not, you're not the usual person who, uh, who contacts me here. What do you mean this fella? I pull the skull, pull withers the skull out of the, the bucket. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, he's usually got like a bombed mask on, but yeah, that's, that's the guy. What do you mean this one? And I pull out the mask. I, yes, like how it, the yes. I like how they're just no, nonchalant about the whole thing of you pulling Wither's skull out of the well, bucket. You are too attached. Well, I imagine, given your situation. <laughs> I, I heard about you, if you don't mind me saying. You're, uh, and I look at the notes, uh, useful, I say with air quotes. Uh, yes, I was useful to my jailer who let me out on occasion yes i tried to be um i'm not too sad that he uh, apparently has perished uh yeah let me see i'm real sorry you're here i i look at the notes again i'd like to get you out i've got a friend in here I, i've learned a bit about this thing um and, and, and i've been able to switch around and, and talk to I've only talked to you, and I've talked to my friend. What's your name? M goes through his notes. 
my name is Talad Zorbris. Oh dear. Um, it's a lovely name. Uh, <laughs> I, I say after trying to figure out how to pronounce it for a few moments. Well, Talad. <laughs> um, do you know how he gets you out of there? <laughs> uh, yes, he, he always says, uh, he always says Blackfire. What, uh, what right, I was worried that would one, you know, incinerate all of you or something. Something terrible. I hadn't said it yet, but that's good to know. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm going to let my friend out first, but I promise I won't leave you. <laughs> And, and, and I, I, I look him in the eyes when I say that, I give him a thumbs up, and I switch over to, I give him a moment to see if he'll say anything, but if he doesn't... Are you, uh, are you being truthful or are you being deceptive? I'm being truthful. I, I think okay. I'm being truthful. Okay, great. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll press two. Okay. Uh, what can we abuse? And as, 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 as soon as Rocco appears, Where do you keep going? I smile and I, I say, Blackfire. All right. Rocco, you find yourself teleported out of the mirror and in front of it, facing Pete once again. Whoa. My hands up triumphantly. What, what did you keep doing? I, I, you kept disappearing. I mean, I know you said you were switching, but wh which one were you switching to? I am no longer... Pete Potter, as you knew me, why I am now. <laughs> well, Nick canceled it. And the power to summon. It wasn't a matter of. I, pray, okay, I go over and press seven, and I do like magic fingers. Well, basically, uh, the and, and number seven appears. Kind of just limiting the yeah. Amount. Are you releasing him? Yeah, it's really small. But uh oh, not 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 right away. I'll say, okay. all right, all right. This here is, and I I pause because I don't know how to say his name. Tlad. It's like Tlad, but Tlad. All right, all right, Tlad. This is. It was pretty fun. Uh, it was fun. He didn't flinch as much as we hoped he would, but yeah. And I I guess. Um, I'll... I, I look at I look at Rocco mm -hmm. for a moment, like okay, and I say black fire. Yeah, but I All right, uh, Talad will appear in front of you guys and stretch his arms luxuriously as he gets his gains his freedom once again. Hmm. You hungry? <laughs> I, being trapped in the mirror, I apparently have no need for food or water or sleep. But yes, I would, I would adore some food if you have any. Uh, all right, we're 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 not quite sure yet, but you know, I, I go and get a ration from from your. Consume it as if he has uh, quite uh, food and drink, and will uh, will bow a little bit to to the both of you and say thank you for that refreshment. Um, it's nothing. It's nothing. You, we've got to stick together, don't we? Place all places. What is uh, what is what is your what is your goal here? Oh, we're oh, I, 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 I I gestured to Rocco. We're defeating the death curse on this land. If we don't do something, the world ends. As far as we know. I, did you come here for the death curse? If you don't mind me asking. Have a good time, dude. Uh, 
no, I was. <laughs> oh my, my history is not uh, not too important, but um, I am I am no I am no lover of the the master of this dungeon. So if you are if you are going against uh, the the builder of this place, then I am I am with you. Right. That sounds good. I have I have a not I've not done an insight check by the way. I don't think that I necessarily would. But uh, uh Um Alright, alright. I, I look at the page again. Um withers note. Do you happen to know anything about the others in the mirror? It's quite a few. Um, I, I, I only know of Withers who took me out for his occasional, um, arcane uses. Um, I don't know any, anyone else in the mirror, no. Okay, okay. Um, I press number nine. <laughs> okay, um... Uh, what appears in the mirror as you press number nine is a giant four-armed gargoyle. Oh! Um, but you can also go down to my games and apps and always choose anything that you want to use on here. Oh! So, uh, Who are you? I'm Pete. Oh. <laughs> Uh, the the gargoyle will uh, will will say nothing, but it it stony brows will kind of go down in a frown. Okay, I I, I press number eight. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. What will appear in the mirror is a uh, a male human adventurer. Um. He says. Hello. He announces himself as Biff Longsteel. He was with the company of the Yellow Banner uh, a couple of weeks ago. Then he got trapped in this mirror. Hmm. He'd really love it if you could get him out. I, 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 um, I say, oh, that's a very nice story. And then I show, I show the page to um, Rocco and Vlad. Mm-hmm. That says that says I, I, I underline with my finger shape changer. Mm. This guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but what did he say his name was, by the way? Uh, Biff Longsteel. Right, Biff. I love none of that. Tell me who you really are. <laughs> um. Well, I, I got no idea what you mean. I'm I'm Biff Longsteel. The famous okay. Biff Longsteel. You never heard of me? I doubt anybody really has. Tell me. Now we know Withers. You heard all about you. And you're... I pull out. How about you? Tell us a little more. Alright, um, you, you seem, uh, pretty suspicious, and, um, Biff Longsteel will, will give a, give sort of a, a, a sneer, and he will morph into a, a buxom, uh, uh, blonde woman and say, uh, what's that? All right, come on. If I, if I... Um, did it give out?
Hello? Oh. Am I back? I'm just about to press 12. Uh, you don't yeah. give me a bit more. Uh, oh, okay. my finger out. Uh, I haven't pressed 12 yet. I'm, I'm threatening to press 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, okay, Biffy will, will press her hand up against the glass and say, I, I, I could be useful. Do you need a, do you need a decoy? <laughs> Probably. Need a bit more than this, though. Can you show me who you really are? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to look a little sterner. Uh, Rocco, what, what are you thinking of, of this shape changer? Yeah. I'm thinking I just don't really care to have it along. It's, it could be really useful, yeah. It could be, but at the same time, we'll never be able to trust it. I mean, I suppose if all it can do is change shape, we really don't have much to lose. Right, I mean, it could change shape into you, right? Yeah. It could change shape into me. What I am worried about is this other note on the... I pull out Delvin's journal and flip open the page. <clears throat> there was an incident with a four-armed gargoyle. I don't know about anything about that. But you just looked at it, and I wonder if that's the but same you, one. You, you, your mic cut out. There was an incident, and then you cut out. With a gargoyle, a four-armed gargoyle. Oh, right, right. I don't think we want that one's help. But other than that, I have no reference to this mirror, and I don't know what it does. Oh, about. well, look at that. There's a star falling. Delvin. Oh, maybe you already figured this out. Silly me, I'm just putting it together. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 me, the actual player, also didn't realize that the, the, the journal was from <laughs> the same you know, uh, party that had the that had the, um, the 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 lantern, the magic lantern. Oh, what? I l read through magic it again. Lantern. The star falling. Oh. Oh, hey, you're right. Him. I have a feeling that. <laughs> uh, well, what's what's our god's name again? Shantaya. Shantaya meant for us to figure that out a bit earlier. <laughs> yeah. Um, I suppose it doesn't do much. Uh, okay, uh, might come back to you, you seem useful, but I shrug, and I, 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 I click number, number 12, and then I immediately turn around to Rocco and say, was that mean? Yeah, maybe? It'd be threatening, but I don't know. I don't know, it, at this point I don't feel any... Uh, I'll get flat as well when I say that. <laughs> hey, um, uh, Talad will 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 give a a noncommittal sort of shrug of his shoulders and say, "She had the chance to be useful. She just didn't." I I still think she come back later, but you're safe and sorry. Uh, yeah, so I clicked on number 12. Did I click on 12? That's the one. Uh, useless. Okay, number 12 is a... is a, a cross between a mosquito and a bat. There's a sturge in there that is, like, bumping against the, against the glass. We all three go, ah, in unison. <laughs> yeah, switch away from that. Press number 11. Uh, okay, um... You're, you're flipping through the... 
this is a um a you shouldn't have given me the remote. I'm just gonna flip through all the channels. <laughs> Uh, what appears in the mirror now is a a female uh, fighter dressed in um, in kind of chitin looking armor. Um, she has a sword by her side, um, and uh, she. Um, narrows her eyes at you and asks you, uh, where, where is Queen Napaka? Napaka, I, all right, might need a bit of explaining. Um, I'm Pete, this is Rocco, this is Vlad. I, I, I look like I'm worried I didn't get it right. Uh, and we are... Uh, you know what's that, Rack? I think, um, her, I don't know how to call this, but he's not very good. Uh, she, she will, uh, she will tighten her grip on her, on her sword sheath as you mentioned that name. I, uh, point to the sword and I'm like, right, right, that guy. Yeah. No, we don't like him either. So that's good to know. Are you... All right, see, you're in a mirror. I'm sure you know that. Has he left you out? You know, you know Withers. Did she tighten her sword again? Uh, yes, she does. Well, you like this. I reach into the bucket and I pull out the head and the mask, and I put the head on the mask and take the... Take, I put the mask on and off the, 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 the skull, like, again and again, just like, ah, ah, this guy. Yeah. Uh, Back at Vlad and Rocco again. Uh, I'm I'm a little uncomfortable taking this much initiative, but rolling with it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my out of character uh, she will, level of attention um, is terrible. So she will give a a uh, a noise of approval. Um, but then we'll, um, again, ask for, uh, for Queen Napaka. You know who that is? I look at Vlad, I look at Rocco. No, I, I don't know never who heard that of is. her. I'm sure we would have heard of her if we had actually done the jungle portion of this adventure, but... We didn't talk to very many people in the jungle. We kind of we kind of went through pretty quick. I'd, I'd say we min-maxed that one. <laughs> we just kind of bulldozed we sort of just, in. Yeah. There's nothing yeah, I didn't really look around on. much. <laughs> uh, Vlad will will say from his from his corner that Queen and Napaka was the was the queen of this. Uh, this island before uh, Esarak came and enslaved the whole population. Oh, oh dear. I look very like, oh, fuck, we've got to explain this. Well, I mean, according to this, and I pull out Withers' notes, he said you were useless. Should I have said that or not, Duck? Uh, to me. She will, she will unsheath her sword and swing it as hard as she can at the glass, yelling, uh, yelling in a in a language that you guys don't no, 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 understand. No, I, no, I meant this guy, and I point at the skull. The mask, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't say that at all. Trust me, I think you're use, useful. I, I, I do. I promise. You would, you definitely look useful. I'd say you look terribly useful, but I'm I'm afraid. Hey, I just saw your uh, invite. <laughs> While you've been in there, um, been a long time, just, longer than you might think. I'm still getting things set up. Like, 
like I have, I'm entering codes and stuff in the Xbox Live. How long do you think you've been in there? Um, so it's gonna take me a little while to like. Um. But I'm down to play in a little bit. Uh, she will give a a a confused shrug of of her shoulders. I'm not having any idea. Um, Talad will, Talad will actually turn to you guys and, um, say, how, how long has it been? Oh. Rocco, you know the seasons. Mm-hmm. What year is it on our <laughs> calendar? Yeah, it was, uh, Nick. Which, you, you obviously, you don't have to say. Because <laughs> I'm sure you don't know just as much as I don't. But yeah. It is a small bachelor party, but yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure Rocco, the priest of, like, the seasons and stuff, knows nope. the they year in a few different calendars. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah. it, it, Rocco, it, it's been about 200 years since this temple was built. Mm. Well, more than 200. Which is, which is, a, which is a, no. Yeah. Um, Talad will, will, will yeah, kind of whistle awesome. a little bit. You can wear masks and stuff too, but, um... Dear, well, yeah. you might be from well, different times, know, but I'd say you and Talad have a lot in common. Yeah, that we're, it's, it's an online Bible study. Would you um, like to, um, around, like, take a walk? Uh, you know, or stretch your legs. I've been in there a bit too long. I just say let we could use a little bit of help out here. No, I, I would say just let's throw it around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> she will, um, she will peer over at Talad and narrow her eyes. Yeah. Um, but, and we'll be at, at, at actually getting out of the mirror finally. Backfire. After I look at everybody and get like any mm-hmm. sign of approval. Yep, I will nod my approval. Yeah. Yeah, All right. All right, man. Talk to you later. All right, say Blackfire. She will emerge from the mirror. Give a polite little nod, bow, sort of. Uh-huh. And, I, and I, I point at the mirror. So this is this is where you've been, and hit all the little buttons. If you look at this, and I press number press number um, seven, which I guess is empty now. This guy was in there, <laughs> and my friend here, and I press number two, was in there. <laughs> yep. Alrighty, I thought it was kind of cool, but I guess <laughs> I guess for the I'm the only one here who wasn't trapped in the mirror, so maybe maybe I'm, I'm speaking from a, a privileged position. Uh, if everyone's okay with it, I've got I think one more, no, nope, two more, three more. Flipping a few more channels. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Talad. Talad. Talad mumbles at maybe you wouldn't like it so much if you were in there, Mister Warrior. No, I know. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mister Rocco. I, I, uh, I'm just worried somebody else is in there that we need to check in on. I. I press number four. This isn't boring. Uh, this is this isn't boring, is it? Switch it because I'm I'm quite engrossed in seeing who's in this mirror. No, that's fine. Uh, okay. Um, this the the mirror uh, flickers again. Um, and it'll have to lean down to peer out. But there's a a large minotaur in here that like has to bend down to peer through the pane of glass. I press number five. Uh, number five is empty. I think. I think it's empty. Okay. It says it's useless. useless. It says useless. Okay. Then it's another search. Ah, 
It was six. It's louder. Or is it the TV? Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, the carriage is next to each other. Uh, you see a legs and then a, a tattered and dirty loincloth. Um, uh, and then clambering down onto a hand and knees, you'll see a huge troll face come into view. Fuck. You don't need this. <laughs> oh, I guess not. Okay. I press number one. Yeah, hold down A. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Um, that one it says crazy. Uh, yeah. Uh, hopping around in a in a circle. This is like it's like a haunted house. <laughs> hopping around in a circle on one foot. There is a uh, an emaciated. Um, old, crazy-looking old man with, like, wavy white hair and, um, uh, mumbling to himself. Hello. Uh, he, he doesn't, he doesn't seem to react to, uh, to, to you guys, um, talking to him. Are you hungry? I say to, <laughs> I say to the, uh, the warrior that we got him. Um, the, uh, the, the champion, oh, you say that to the, her? Yeah, um, I, say that, I say that to the, to the person in here first, and then I say it to, uh, yeah, she will, um, the, the old crazy man in the mirror, uh, will, will not, um, I said it to him, and then I realized, oh, wait, right, are you hungry? <laughs> Right. Um, uh, she will. She will. She would accept. Uh, accept food. Sure. Um, but listening to the to the crazy man in the mirror, um, she will say something in a in a foreign uh, language, and the the old man will will stop and and peer out of out of the mirror. I, I don't know what you said. Do you know this? I, 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 did you hear what he said to the to the warrior? Uh, he he was he was chanting some kind of an old uh, old lullaby or something. Um, but I'm not sure if he speaks common. But he did. He does speak uh, old Amuin, which was what was spoken here when this temple was being before this temple was constructed well i he i like to let him out but i don't think he think he's probably safer in there for now he's not gonna be very useful to us very Perhaps not. Um, maybe he is safer than that. You can make it back. We'll let him out. We'll let the shake changer out. Mm -hmm. It's number three. This is the last one. Okay. Um, the mirror is... The, the mirror is empty except for a kind of a, a whirlwind sort of effect in there as if the air was kind of massed together and swirling in place. Oh, wait. Say that again? Uh, it looks like there's, there's a... There's a, a a cyclone or something in there that is uh, not, it's not dissipating, it's staying in place, but um, it's very hard to see. Are you alive? Uh, it doesn't say anything back. Okay, I look awkwardly at everybody else. Uh, I'm 
one minute. I think. I, I, I didn't expect to see a tornado. Wait, wait, wait. It, it's mm -hmm. not quite a tornado. It, it's almost invisible. You can't. Uh, I know exactly what this is, but the stalker on the thing. Ah, uh, yes. Let's see if Plot has any. Is this something I could create? Is it a spell? Is this something you can create with a spell? Is yeah. Uh. Um. No. Okay. Then I can't. No. Vaco. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is four, four twenty. Oh, but boy. right now it's four twenty o'clock. Yes. <laughs> How are we looking on time? Out of curiosity. I 
can tell, we we've been to. You know, uh, well, I guess we'll I guess we'll update them. Should we should we sit sit around and update them on on what's happened, kind of? We'll give them the the details they need to know in order to help us out. But other than that, I see no reason yeah, to yeah. volunteer. Yeah, right, yeah. Basically, just like tell them how many levels we've been to. Yeah. I'll say we're on the fourth fourth level down, and I've got a map of the fifth level. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, sorry about that one. I point to the skull that's been following us around. <laughs> Nothing we can do, as far as I can tell. Completely illusory. I don't even know that word. Completely um, not real. Yeah. I wave my hand. Does my hand go through it, or is it just like invincible? It's it's invincible. It's real, but it okay. is. Uh, I can, it I can is, grab it and hold it. Yeah, it's just impervious to any any damage at all. Wow, there's we can't make we can't make heads or tails of it as I as I put my coin away. <laughs> Quite a sword you've got there. <laughs> I, I yeah, you know, I, I couldn't find a, a regular, uh, okay. regular champion, but it, it's, it's, the, sword is, the sword is not magical. No. Okay. What sword does she have? Like a like a long sword, great sword. Uh, yes, a, a long sword, similar to similar to yours, but I don't think it's magical. Her armor seems to be somewhat unique, though. You're kind of like a bug, in a good way. I like bugs. <laughs> you, you like my armor, do you? Well, if I die, you can certainly try putting it on. But until then, I can't take it off. So. Right. I appreciate that. <laughs> What can you two do, by the way, if, if, if that's not a rude question? Well, I, I started, I should, I should talk about it. I started, like, really trying to lead the conversation just because, 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 um, Daniel was having trouble talking, but I guess that's not the case anymore. I'm like trouble. When, when I was, I was study guard of Queen Napaka, um, I guess it was 200 years ago now, um, right before, well, before, before Sarah came to this island and, um, enslaved the population. And uh, my 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 queen vanished, so I came here and was um, was trying to find any trace of her. But um, I was trapped in that mirror ever since. Oh, an important job. Maybe that's why Withers thought you were useless because you didn't actually do anything to stop him. Uh, that is possible. I, I don't know why that that I'm, person thought I was useless. I am not useless. No, I I would agree yeah. with you. I'm not used to him. Oh, yeah, that could be. Perhaps I should have tried to have been a duplicitous and try and um go along with whatever Withers was trying mm -hmm. to do, no. but... Uh, I think that would not have been a good choice. I should say, by the way, someone came round asking about his bones. Tried to offer information. We said no, of course, of course, looking at Rocco. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if he comes back, maybe we'll drive the price up. 
I, I, I doubt we'll give her the bones. I, I'm here with my friend Rocco, and whatever Rocco says goes. And I think Rocco's quite right that we shouldn't give her these bones. But you never know. She gave us information about the mirror, at least. Um, no, we don't trade with the keepers of this place. We just so take... we might play along, but just know we've got no plans to hand over the bones. Mm -hmm. Do not bargain with evil, that's my motto. <laughs> or if you do bargain, don't, you know. I'm sure how to finish that, but basically we're not going to give them the bones. This is the point. Very well said. I'll stop talking. I don't know if they're confident about the about the bones. I mean, maybe maybe, maybe they are the winning side. That that's Vlad muttering to himself. Um. All right. I don't know what to make of that, but. Did he say again? I didn't actually quite hear it properly. Uh, yeah, Tlad was saying that, well, if they're confident enough to point you out towards the mirror, you know, are, are they are they confident in winning despite the increase in, in body? Are, are they going to be the winning side here? Maybe. I mean, maybe they were hoping that we'd get trapped. I mean, we sort of did, didn't we? just didn't count on old Pete figuring it out. <laughs> mm. I do have to give it to you for that. <laughs> Good old Pete. Well, Mr. Rocco, I, I think I've had my fill of leadership, if you don't mind me saying, so <laughs> I'm going to see the stand and do you think we should go? Mm -hmm. Agreed. The world. Actually, my throat is sore from talking so much. Yeah. <laughs> so. <clears throat> I get a headache. I'm gonna be right back. Mm -hmm. I'll go get a um, hotel. Okay. Nothing to do with the session, of course. All right. I get headaches early, early, in, or, you know, midday sometimes. Ah, gotcha. All right, I'm gonna hop up as well, really momentarily. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hop up real quick too, um, and then I will be back. We'll see where we're at. Be a minute, quick. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, I'm not sure how much longer I can go with this setup. It's a bit spartan again. How long what? I can keep going with this session. Because oh. my setup is again a little bit janky. And plus, I don't want to completely ignore my uh, siblings <laughs> All right. who are working on stuff. All right. All right. It took a longer than I. That's a longer right. than I. No, that's no, that's background noise where I'm at. It's a hammer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's putting in a door frame. figured I can just mute myself if worst case because <laughs> basically when that hammering's going on I can't even hear anything you guys are saying so uh, Daniel how much longer do you have available <sighs> I mean time wise I have got all the time in the world but I would say probably another 20 minutes just call it right on the hour, and I probably should get just, just get going. Okay, that's better. Okay. So another 20 minutes? Yeah, just basically I'm I'm finding my attention kind of split here. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, understandable, so. understandable. Sorry I hogged so much screen time with those mirrors. No, honestly, I needed you to. <laughs> I needed you to because my my connection is also janky and not easy to deal with so well the places I was thinking we can continue down and just try to figure out how to do that um but there's also oh right we can we can try and re we can check out the room that we died in. Mm -hmm. Try to get in there again. Oh yeah. Get a little smarter this time. Yeah. <laughs> and um, last last time last time we got in that room, I said that the the tiles on the floor had been replaced and the boulder was gone. But yeah. I realize now that there's not enough time for that to have happened, so the pit is still visible to you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the boulder is still in it? Yeah, boulder is still in it. Okay. okay. 
that makes things a little easier. Plus, there's this whole dark area to the um, to the east. Yes. I mean, we see two pathways going into it. One of them is wide open. We just haven't gone that way. We haven't been on the ground here at all. Down where the staircase is. Correct. Um, looking at the map that I have from uh, where there's his office. Looking at level five, is there any obvious? I guess I should actually look <laughs> as I'm asking this. Or maybe I can answer it myself. Uh, obvious like ways up from that level. Um, there is a spiral staircase that looks like, from its position, would be uh, continuous with the one that you guys. Just oh, right, that one. That one continues down. Oh, hey. I mean, again, my drive to explore every inch of every level. I don't know. I kind of feel like hitting that northeast room that we haven't seen yet. But right. yeah, I think I think we could stand to explore a little bit, check out that north room, and mm -hmm. maybe this whole dark area. You know. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what do you two think? You certainly. Waited a while. I'm sure you could stand to wait a little longer, right? Maybe we'll find something useful. Uh, Lucano, um, the, the female champion, is, uh, is all for um, exploring as long as it um, hopefully leads to her finding information about her, her queen 2,000 years ago, 200 years ago. Um, Vlad is cautious, but he's also willing to do some slight exploration. Oh, oh, um, what was the, what was the warrior's name? Uh, Lucano? Wow. I think there might be someone you'd like to talk to. Um... Oh, but there's no way I can share what Moa says. Right, other than just saying it. Oh, yes. Hmm. I, I, I'd say into my head, Moa, you got anything to say to um your old friend here? Hmm. If that is the case. Um, uh, you'll, you'll feel that, that Moa is kind of peering out of your eyes for a moment. Um, it's kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that the old queen's bodyguard? Uh oh. Oh, it's been so long ago. Um, I do remember that the queen... The queen gave herself up uh, voluntarily, um, and then, yeah, she she uh, she disappeared into into the tomb as it was being uh, being constructed. So, I think presumably the the queen's uh, tomb, if it exists, would be somewhere. Within this temp, within this uh, oh. dungeon, the queen's tomb. I say that out loud, and then I and then I go, oh, oops, I. Oh. <laughs> you you know something, warrior? The kind of will say to you. Well, uh, I don't, but Moa does. Moa. My goodness, are the Tipster Spirits here too? Yeah, they are. Not, you know, similar situation to you, I'm afraid. Um, but we've managed to recover a few. Um, Rocco here <laughs> carries the spirit of Obalaka. Mm -hmm. I say that right? Yes. Yes. I was trying to rack I've my mind. Moa with me. <laughs> And we happen to know the location of another. 
But aren't there supposed to be nine of them? And we've only found three. Maybe four. And are the, are the, are the, spirit, are the trips to God willing to help us, or should we avoid them? These two are. I mean, you know more about them than we do. I I knew how they how they were. I guess I suppose so. I did slay them all, so I suppose they would be on her side. Yes. Uh, well, Mo and Obalaka seem to be helpful enough. At least Moa seems to be quite helpful. Mm-hmm. Not right. I whisper to the to the warrior. Obalaka's a bit flighty, if I I might say so. And, yeah, not the most reliable god I've ever spoken to. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I I point my thumb at at, at my tabard. Yep. not really for a humble mortal such as myself to say. Hmm. Um, uh, Lucanu will, will say that, um, well, she doesn't know who, who that, who that symbol refers to, but whichever god you follow, as long as you're willing to put your sword against the darkness, she's with you. Oh dear. Uh, Rocco, do you have that book on you? <laughs> <laughs> Which book? The journal or the? Oh, sure. I, that was kind of a joke. Just do we have a Bible? Oh. For 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 this heathen to read. <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> Quite interesting, I'll assure you. <clears throat> Rocco, do you want to try to convert her? <laughs> uh, uh, people come to the to the belief. You now, I would say people will come when they are ready. No use. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, get him. <laughs> the implication there is that she's not ready. I like it. <laughs> a play hard to get. Heathen gods are primitive. Nah, I'm trying to. Did I say that out loud? Uh, can make 
Rocco tiny. Or if there's a space big enough for Rocco to go in, but what? we both need to go in. There. Why would I want to be any tinier? <clears throat> like a pipe. You need to Mario your way down a pipe. <laughs> but I can already I thought, do I thought that. Rocco was already tiny or small. Exactly. Rocco's small. Right, he would be tiny. Yeah. But, but I'm saying that, like, you could get really small. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I, I don't know how small I'd get if I drank that thing. I might, I might just get Rocco size. I don't know how useful that is. No, it would not be any use to me. Uh, I mean, except you'd be or still a friend. we could... Yeah, we need... But I wouldn't have anything to hide behind. <laughs> you could hide, but yeah. But that'll be a one-way street, won't it? We, if we give, <laughs> give Eeyore the potion and then take him somewhere, yeah. we don't have another potion to shrink him with. <laughs> We can just give all the potions to Eeyore. Every single uh, one we Talad will, will um, say curiously, um, if anyone has any items that they haven't identified yet. I think we've gotten through everything, haven't we? I think so, too. Everything I have, I kind of know about. Yeah. I think we're good on identification, but that will be useful. We won't be able to teleport in everybody again for the whole day. You can teleport half of us. Now we'll have to spend... Yeah, we'll have to spend five charges to teleport everyone once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it regains 1d6 one one charges each day, oh, so... Oh no! It might not even recharge fully tonight. Hmm. Alright, yeah, we'd we better get moving. Yeah. Well, um, we'll confer with the party. I'd say Rocco's still our leader, right? Nobody else is demanding. <laughs> that would be pretty presumptuous, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? If you were woken up into a new party and then demanded to be the leader of it, <laughs> <laughs> right? <clears throat> like if 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 a whole like cohesive adventuring party showed up to that acid pit. And <laughs> And I was like, all right, so everybody listen to me. <laughs> um, so we've got a room that we've been in, but haven't explored, and we know the way there. It's a little hazardous, because there's an acid pit, but we could get, we could get through. Mm -hmm. And then there's a completely unknown room to us. This room might have a god in it. Do I remember anything about this coffin? In the acid room? Do you remember what? Did we see anything in this room worth uh, remembering? We weren't in there very long. You, well, you did, you did, uh, you did long rest, um, and then Withers kind of woke you guys up. Um, yeah, I can re- yeah, you guys remember approximately what what it was in there. Uh, one second. Coffin had any animals on it? Um, Alright, so four marble columns support the ceiling of this grand tomb. Twin staircases ascend to an upper gallery where a carving in the form of a giant maze ordain, ordain, adorns the wall. On the floor of the tomb stands an opaque crystal sarcophagus that is constantly changing colors. Uh, and there, there was a, a carving of a, a snail sort of figure on that tomb. Um, Minotaur murals adorn the walls on the lower levels of the tomb. Oh, oh, oh. You froze, or my audio cut out for a second. What was that after the snail? Uh, minotaur murals adorn the walls on the lower level of the tomb. 
I like it. I look over at the Minotaur that you let out of the mirror. You think we could lure it back into the... I open up the... Well, if we want to. <laughs> might already be a Minotaur in there. The maze holds the key. Maze holds the key. I thought we just finished the maze. Right. Maybe it was this maze. I thought I thought that so strange too. I thought for sure there'd be a key in there. Well, ooh, I pull Pete aside. What if? Because minotaurs are really good at mazes, or else they're just really bad at mazes. But what if we let him go and then we use him as a kind of a kind of a bloodhound to find the key? If I, I mean, I don't know if there's a key. Oh, I'm I'm already thinking too far ahead. I think. I mean, maybe that's not a bad idea. I think maybe we should see the maze first. Yeah, agreed. I, that's what. You know, I, that's why. Check I, it out. That's what I'm thinking. I don't even too. know if a minotaur will fit down here. Probably. Hey, Withers got it in the mirror, though. So. Must be able. To All right, are we going to the maze room then? Mm -hmm. There's no disagreement from the other two people. Yep. Or you are. No, I would say let's do it. Any of the uh, old gods that look kind of like a snail? Uh, yes, that was that was Unk. What do you think of Unk? Oh, she was she was indecisive. Um, she was uh, very very colorful, very um, very uh, very pretty because she changed colors all the time. Um, she'd go like pink and blue and red, green. Makes sense uh, based on the coffin I saw. I think you'd like to, you know, um, the way that we've sort of paired off with our own little gods, you think you'd like to see um, Unk again? Oh, um, yes, sure, that would be, that would be lovely. Let's okay. go see Unk. Oh, I'm moving Rocco. All right, on we go. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll go towards, towards... Up there, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll take. Uh, I'll take. Eeyore. Why, why don't Why don't I just move everybody? <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds fair. Uh, Eeyore, what to do with Eeyore? Should we put? E I know this sounds terrible, and Pete wouldn't say this necessarily. Should we put Eeyore in the mirror? Ooh. That's me. <laughs> Eeyore would be safe in the mirror. That's true. Not particularly safe. We'll put him in a uh, slot. Oh, we'll put him in slot seven as useful. I, I didn't hear that. You cut out. Were you gonna say put him in the bucket? No, we'll slot put him in seven. slot seven. Put him in slot seven. Be useful. Put him in the. Mirror. He'll be safe, and we can get him out anytime we need. Oh. I mean, it's it's not. I mean, you guys tell me. Is it is it terrible in there? I mean, it, it's not. It's not uncomfortable. It's not really anything in there. You're just kind of in a timeless void. It, it's not. It's not nice. It's not pleasant necessarily, but it's not. Horrible. Hmm. I'm a little worried about Eeyore. He's gone missing once, and we can't take him everywhere, so we've had to leave him. If I'm going to leave him anywhere, it seems like that might be the place. <laughs> Am I being cruel? <laughs> Rocco would not agree that you're being cruel. Cut you cut out, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's 
that's fine. I don't think Rocco would think that you're important. cruel. <laughs> oh no, you cut out again. You are not being cruel, no. Rocco doesn't think you are being cruel at all. Okay. I think we'll go back. Take Rocco and, and, and Eeyore back to the mirror. You force Eeyore to look into the mirror with a jack beta. Take him, we'll take him back over to Eeyore and say, All right, Eeyore, I'm going to put you, keep you somewhere safe. It's not going to be terrible and it's not going to be great, but, you know, it'll be better than this place, I'm sure. And we'll come and get you in the. Well, I'll refill my water skin. And you want to take some rations out of the pack? Mm hmm. Refill up to 10. Oh, that's what I do. Um, right. Why don't you listen to that, Uh, and I, I look away, and, uh, is this, did the skull follow us, by the way? Uh, the skull would have followed you, yeah. Uh, so, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll move, I'll move myself over down here to the mirror. And I'll move Eeyore as well. Oh, you moved Eeyore. Where is Eeyore? Uh, Eeyore is in the, in the fog of war. I can put him in the mirror of him. Yeah, yeah, put him, put him right in, right in front of me, right, right in this middle square. Um, and then the skull, if he's floating over somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll say, all right, Eeyore. Oh, what's that? What's that over there? What's that over there, Eeyore? Point to the mirror. <laughs> hey, skull. Hey, skull. Can you see? <laughs> I can see. Right. Um. Uh. And. Uh, Kamora. <laughs> you know, I will poof into the mirror. Uh, the skull. Um. Quick push button 12. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to push it to, to push the button to um, number two. Uh, okay, the, the mirror absorbs Eeyore, um, and then... Cross out um, useful on, on number seven and write Eeyore. <laughs> All right, and then the skull will also be absorbed by the by the mirror. <laughs> oh. Amazing. Okay. Oh, relief. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna cross out. What, what was it? Empty on number two. Yeah. Uh. Yes. And what should I write? Useless. Sure. <laughs> Useless. Right, I'll write annoying. That works. <laughs> it'll uh, it'll be stuck on this on the skull channel, and you'll hear, "Hey, hey, let me out! This is horrible on here." Oh, way bad. I'm gonna switch switch back to. Uh, should I switch to Eeyore or a Minotaur? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably. The Minotaur, I guess, if you want to be scary. You was not, not very scary. scary. Eeyore is not scary. I was just thinking if Eeyore would like to see out or not. Maybe Eeyore would rather just be in the peaceful void. <laughs> and see us walk away. <laughs> yeah, I'll switch to the Minotaur. Okay. All right, the Minotaur is uh, kind of exhausted from pounding into the mirror, so it just kind of glares at you. Take it easy there, pal. All right. Okay, I'm going to assume that you guys managed to get over the acid pit this time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> look, I look sadly down at the, like, the, the bottom of the acid pit. <laughs> Whatever's left of the shield. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Dissolved away down there. Yep. Sort of hop over the boulder. 
maybe use the boulder to kind of get our way across. We it. almost died in there. Yep. I think I sort of did. Long story. I did. Well, there's Unk. Mm hmm. What do you name? <laughs> oh, there were any traps last time, were there? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't think they were trapped, right? The other. The other, um. Oh, well, one of them was. The one with the head. The one with the mowing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, this sarcophagus on close inspection is an opaque crystalline um, sarcophagus that has the carving of the snail unk um, on, the, on the surface of it. And it's constantly changing color um, between blue and gold and purple, green, red. There is also a, a keyhole in the very top of the sarcophagus. Keyhole. The maze holds the key. Did you look at that? Hmm. Well. Yeah. All right. The, uh, the maze is up here. Um, and this is a, a large circular maze that is uh, carved into the, the wall. Um, the intricate carving shifts before your eyes, its configuration ever changing. The maze has no exits, and its corridors are lit by tiny torches and clouded by fog. Oh, it's been like. Am I wrong, or hasn't it been like 40 minutes? Yeah, it has, and I'm just... To, do you need to go, Daniel? I do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I do need to get going. Do you want to leave, leave off at the maze? Yeah. Leave off I, at, I, uh, saying, saying a, a brief goodbye. It is a good cliffhanger, so... Right. All right. All right. Are we, done for the, are we done for the day? I believe so, yeah. I'm not going to get another chance to come back right. at this point uh, for a little while. All right, we'll see. See you guys next week then. A nice short session. Yep. All right. All right. Take care. Good session, guys. Mm -hmm.